Hello everyone, welcome to Brown Girl Bella, where I bring you lips, lashes, and luxury. Hold please. Okay, how about now? You guys can hear me now? Okay. Again, thank you for the raid, Musisi. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Hey, Brian. 
How is everybody? Can you hear me now? Yes? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you all for coming. All right, you guys ready for my special guest? She's going to be getting ready with us today, and we're going to chit-chat. We're going to talk about some girl stuff. We're going to talk about some guy stuff. We're just going to chit-chat. You ready? All right, here she is. Hi. Hi, Michelle. How are you? How are you? Good. Let me pause my music so they can hear you well. Hi. <laughs> Morning. Yeah. Hello, hello, darling. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. How are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. I know. This is whole quarantine life. I would have seen you at least at, at once this year, right? At some exactly. Time, right, but you know, exactly. This is our life, so we we have to. You have to make do with what we have. There and there and there we go <laughs> and there we go. Hey, baby girl, Cece, thank you again for the ray fire and air. Welcome in, Deb's glad tidings. Um, I saw Brian East New Hampshire. Hey, of can course, we share this? Huh? Can we share this with someone? Yeah, you can share. What? How do I share it? I just uh um onto my screen in uh YouTube. You just hit share, and then you can share it out. Ca -ca. <laughs> um, share. Mm -hmm. Share screen. Not share screen. You have yeah. to go through YouTube. Oh, okay, I have to go through YouTube. Share right there. Mm -hmm. How have you been? How is this quarantine? Oh, my goodness. You know what? I'm getting a little cabin fever. Um, share. Mm -hmm. Share screen. Are you? Mm -hmm. I'm um, feeling a little claustrophobic lately. <laughs> are you? I need, to go, I need to do something. Like I walk the dog and that's like my get out of jail free card. But I feel like I just need to venture out somewhere. So I'm thinking about taking just like a little drive. Yeah, I get that. Change. Mm hmm. Yesterday I went to the mall just to walk around. I may do that again today because I live really close to King's Plaza. So I may go get a cookie, just walk around, touch some clothes, feel like normal again. I did that yesterday. It was good. Mm -hmm. And so I may do it again today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so hard because, you know, you want to stay safe and you want to be safe. But then, you know, you kind of want to mingle and meet people. So. Um, with the meeting people part but i just want to like i don't know i want to feel like i could like go in a store and try on something that's like mm -hmm. one of my favorite pastimes but like yeah i'm like wanting to like i don't know just get i I'm, i do a lot of stuff alone so like yesterday i was like oh my goodness this would be the perfect time mm -hmm. for me to go sit in the movie theater like i like some days i would just veg out and go sit in the movie theater for like the day, you know, like mm -hmm. hop from movie to movie. And like yesterday I was feeling that. I was like, oh, this would be one of those perfect days that I would just go to the movie theater and sit there and watch like three or four movies just to get out the house, you know? Exactly. All right, so we got our first question for you, Michelle. And it's from Brian East, New Hampshire. He wants to know what kind of cookie are you going to go eat? Because these are important details. Right. So if anybody is um, familiar with Brooklyn and King's Plaza, you know that there has been um, the cookie house in there for what? As long as I can remember. I feel like it's been there for at least Never. 50 years. Yeah. And I love getting cookies from there. Um, they have my favorite is the uh, the the oatmeal raisin, but they also have a chocolate um, a chocolate chip pecan um, cookie. So I always get a combination of those, and they do it by weight, right? So it's not um, you don't get one cookie; you get like a dollar worth of cookie, or you get a pound of cookies, or two pounds of cookies. So they they actually uh, weighing your cookie weight and then charging you by that. So I usually my thing is like, let me get two dollars worth of cookies, and that usually ends up being about like ten cookies, so like five of each. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> I miss that place. 
Yeah, it's a, staple. it's a must have. If you've ever been to Brooklyn or been to King's Plaza, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So I guess I should back up a bit and introduce you properly. Because yeah. I just jumped on and was like, I, know. <laughs> I did not give you your proper welcome. So welcome my sorority sister, my friend, yes, honey, all day, <laughs> Michelle Sprott. Michelle is the owner of Brunch Nista, which I will have her explain to you what Brunch Nista is and what she does. And then we're going to get back into this girl chat and back into beating these faces. Hello. Okay. So um, Brunch Nista is a, a lifestyle brand that I created based off of brunch and my love of brunch. So it's basically the art of brunching and entertaining delivered right to your screen, right to your phone, right to your home. Um, so we focus on a lot of like um, what I'm really, you know, focusing in on this this uh, year or quarter is um, brunch as social, as your self-care. Um, I think it's important that we, especially in these times, connect with um, each other find that space and hold that space to connect with one another because that is such an important part of our self-care routine. And I think that's also the first thing that goes when we get busy. We always be like, oh, I can't meet. Oh, I can't hang out. Oh, I can't do this. But I think we neglect to talk about how important our relationships are with helping us maintain that like um, self-care and mental health and mental well-being. Mm -hmm. um, and I think... Um, this year more than ever we've learned how important that was because you know after being in the house for like two months everybody's like okay i need a drink with my girls or i need exactly. to and so i think the one good thing that has come out of this is that people are definitely realizing how important it is for those breaks mm -hmm. for those connections to be maintained for a healthy life so um i use brunch as a way to connect and um yeah that's that's what we're doing here over here at brunch nisa um, we're using brunch to um, solidify our relationships, connect, and um, you know, just just have a good time. And that's we don't want to forget that's important. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been doing brunch, Nista? So, and uh, so I started in 2017. So, um, yeah. So wait, 17, 18, 19. Oh yeah. So it'll be four years in November, which is. Mm -hmm. crazy. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. And look at you go in those four years. You got registered trademark for Brunch Nista. Yeah. Kudos, kudos. Well, I'm in the process of doing that for Brown Girl Bella. So I will be joining you soon. Yeah. Um, Brown Girl Bella is now an LLC. So I have my own company. Nice. And again, you know, being that, you know, skincare and makeup is so important to me. I wanted to do this since I was small, but I never knew like what lane it would take me to. And hello to DOD, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. I know the football game is on right now. So, you know, keep my fingers crossed <laughs> for the um, Minnesota. <laughs> Oh my God, those poor, those poor uh, Vikings. Who knew, who knew, Miss Gigi, welcome in, welcome in. I don't even want to know if they're winning or not. I'm just keeping them in prayer. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, so let's begin, let's begin. Oh, you found Brian fat, said he found your channel, Brunch Nista. Oh, cute. I actually haven't been doing too much on um I haven't been doing too much on uh YouTube, but I plan to uh kind of you know bring bring my audience in uh, through YouTube. I've been doing reels, which is you know, many little clips of like my brunch, my brunch thing. So um, but yeah, YouTube is a whole different world that I have yet to uh, master. And it seems like you've been doing such a great job over here. So kudos to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's it's a labor of love. But like I said, you know, 
I kind of found my way sort of, you know, the same as you with, you know, just having a passion for what it is that I like to do, which is, you know, take care of my face yeah, and, you know, makeup. And then I love luxury makeup. My first, you know, experience with that <laughs> was a Chanel lip gloss that I met yeah. my father at 13 to get. Um, and he didn't think I could go into the store and get it. So he was like, oh, let me just give you my credit card and you go in and get it. And I went in there at 13 to plop my dad's credit card down and was like, give me that Chanel lips gloss. Like I own the place. Right. And that feeling of like empowerment just never left my mind. And yeah. so I came back and got in the car and he was like, you, you got it? They let you use my credit card. Right. Oh, look, this is the answer. Don't even try. Listen, <laughs> it's about to be on and popping from here on out. Exactly. Exactly. So I say, I was just saying, like, he started it. So, you know, he created yeah. the monster that is Brown Girl Bella today. <laughs> I, love I love it. I mean, I think that's important to kind of, you know, talk about, you know, the experiences and the, the um the experiences that lead you to your passions or you know the things that differentiate you from other women like nobody has that story that you know mm -hmm. that they felt empowered by buying a Chanel lipstick at 13 years old so that's definitely some of the things that we um need to hone in on when we're looking at our passions and and use those to fuel our stories Absolutely. Absolutely. So if there's any words of wisdom in your four years of working at Brunch Disa that you can offer to those in the chat, what would you say are like two of the top things you've learned in your four years? Um, number one, I always share this. Um, and the thing that I always share is before I started Brunch Nista, a lot of times I was just like talking about it and I didn't do it. And I think mm -hmm. it's important. And I mean, I made a thousand and one excuses why I couldn't start, even though I've had the idea sitting in my brain for years. Um, but I just needed to do it, um, mm -hmm. you know, and just stop talking and start doing. And if and it, what doing looks like is, um, you know, that one Instagram post, you know, mm -hmm. on, um, you know, setting up your company that one, um, you know, just doing that, whatever that one thing is, it starts with the Instagram post. It starts with the face, securing the Facebook name. It starts with, you know, getting an LLC, like whatever those things are to start your journey is you need to do it. Mm -hmm. like, and then you need to get your logo. And then you need, I mean, you just have to put one foot in front of the other. You may not have it figured all out and you won't. I still don't have it all figured out. But what I encourage everyone to do and what I always make sure I say in any time I speak is that if I had known now what I know, if I had known then what I know now, it was just to do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. And I think so many of us get caught up in the idea of like, well, I don't have this logo and I don't have this color and I don't have this and I don't have that. And I don't think any of that is important. It's right. important. the most important thing is that you show consistency and that you are continuing to um, speak and grow your audience. Because what so many people do is they start and they don't, you know, they don't finish. And so right. you differentiate yourself by consistently posting, consistently doing your YouTube videos, consistently, you know, doing that, people will come to respect that if nothing else. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I totally agree with what you said, because had I started when I wanted to, I probably would be a little further ahead than where I am now. But really, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And if I could, you know, impart anything from, you know, my three years of doing this channel is that, you know, hard work pays off, get in there, grind. Don't worry about, you know, where your numbers are, like run like a thoroughbred with blinders on and just keep going towards your goal. You will get there. Um, I said this year that in my little virtual, I did my first uh, digital like uh, 
vision board. Okay. First time I ever did it. And in my vision board, I had that my channel was going to be monetized. I'm going to have, um, you know, X amount of subscribers. I was going to, you know, focus on my business. Like that was all in my vision board. And every day, twice a day, I would look at that vision board. And there's lots of other stuff on there as well. But for this channel, those were my goals. And the year's not up yet. And I'm more than halfway there with everything that I put on my vision board for this year. And it. that's because I really and truly ran like a thoroughbred. And I'm, you know, y'all know me. I'm a Virgo. I'm very anal when it comes to like numbers and, you know, just different things. You know, if my lighting is okay. Is this okay? And I really just had to say, Shannon, stop. Stop thinking about it. Just go. Right. And that to me was the hardest thing to just go and go and go with blinders on and not think about every little thing that's going on around me. Not easy to do, guys, but I'm telling you, in the long run, you will be more than happy with where you are if you just keep going, just yeah. keep pushing. Listen, because I mean, like I said before, like there's so many people who will start start out really, really strong, and like a year later, you won't hear from them or you won't know where they are. And so mm -hmm. what people are looking for is somebody that they can consistently come back to for makeup tips, for brunch tips. They need to know that you're there. Um, not that they're always engaged, but you know, they need to be able to say, oh yeah, I know. Like if you say, what, you know, what can I, where can I find this great eye pencil or whatever? And they're not, not necessarily sure, you know, someone is liable to say, I know Brown Girl Bella, she does a show every week. And she's been doing it for the last three years. She should know. And that's how people, you know, you, that's how you direct people to your, you know, to your brand because mm -hmm. you're consistently doing it and making, you know, amplifying your voice in that space. And I think that's really important. Yeah, absolutely. They're saying, amen, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Burns, welcome in. Welcome in. Brian says, I accept that advice with gratitude. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. Yeah, Buddha, keep pushing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to start getting ready. As you can see, I'm still doing these struggle brows. Okay. Using my benefit, precisely my brow pencil. Okay. And I took a course with them Thursday. Okay. And like literally every single thing that they use with the exception of one product, just because it was just released and just launched, I have it all. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I have a little problem. <laughs> well, that's why you have a channel. So you can right. actually, uh... I have that. I'm actually not a huge, which is really odd because I've worked for several makeup companies in the past, but like my makeup bag is not the greatest, I must admit. And I've minimized my makeup routine to be very minimalist. Like, I mean, even though it takes me a while, it, it doesn't look like I have on a lot of makeup. So what I do is I actually have my these brunch these lashes that are um the brunch nista lash right yes here. oh here's my camera so <laughs> the brunch nista lash it is yes. uh, by my friend camara uh i'm so bad at this uh brunch nista lash which is by my mm -hmm. friend camara a unique beauty yeah uh, um there's a funny story about Ooh. this um, so she's had this lash line and I went over to her house one day and she gave me a couple and I took them home. Um, like I said, I, I don't wear makeup daily. I wear it a, a, for occasion. So like when I go out to brunch, I'll, you know, put my face and not really much outside of that. Mm -hmm. um, so she gave me these lashes and I, you know, I didn't wear them for a while. Finally, I decided to pull out the lash and wear it. And when I pulled out the lash, I wore it and I'm like, oh my God, I love this lash. I love this lash. And I mm -hmm. called her 
So I used the ones that I had and I called her and I said, I need more of the lashes that you gave me. And she was like, well, I'm discontinuing that lash because it's not doing that well. And I was like, well, I'm going to buy all. So I went on the site. And I bought all the lashes because I was like, no, like if you're about to discontinue this, I'm going to buy all because I really, really love this lash. Yes. And I'll put her link in the uh, description box after the live is over because that's another one that it's so funny how I met her because I went to a uh, NARS event and she was doing a um, demonstration. Okay. And I asked um, the woman um, that I know, Joy, we both know her from NARS. Yeah. If I can go and tape, you know, part of the segment. I wanted to tape a interview with her, an interview with camera. And she said, yeah, you can, yeah, you can come. You can do that. Yeah. And sure. As we started talking, she started naming like the lashes that she has and um, she has a Brunchanista lash, which yeah. we just talked about. She has a lash with um, Ava yeah. that had just launched out. And yeah. then she had um, the Julie lash that she was yeah. talking about that she was actually wearing. And I was like, okay, so all of those are my sorors that I know. Right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, right. what's going on here? Like, right. the circle is so small right. so what, what ended up happening was she was like i'm gonna discontinue that lash and i said please don't it's such a good lash and so she was like i'm gonna name it after you then i mean i wasn't the, i don't remember what the original name was but she had asked her followers she was like should she call it the michelle lash or should she call it brunch needs the lash and her followers said brunch needs to. so she ended up naming it brunch needs the lash and so that's how we have this lash because i really really like not even as a like friend situation i was like mm -hmm. i think this is a really dope lash like please yes. get rid of it mm -hmm. um, and so you know because i was so adamant about like being like girl no don't get rid of it it's such a good lash um that's how the name came about so it was like a, it wasn't even something we planned it just happened mm -hmm. i'm really glad because i really do like that lash so i was i saw her a couple weeks ago and i'm like give me give me all my lashes i need all, I need all. <laughs> um, so she ended up giving me some more and so i have some more um but i also have bought tons of them from her even you know mm -hmm. even though my name is on it i mean you know my brand is on it because i honestly do really think it's a great lash um mm -hmm. and for me with lashes I'm like, go hard or go home. I don't want no little lash. Like, if exactly. we were lash, you about to give me a lash. It has to be dramatic. And so mm -hmm. that lash is dramatic, but it's still very classy. And so, and it, it, yeah, you know, and I love them because they're so comfortable to wear. Yeah. Like, you, you don't even have lashes on. And for the novice who are new to lashes, I yeah. think that that is a great lash. And the Julie lash is a great lash to kind of get your yeah. feet wet. Yeah, I, I mean, I think for me and my makeup routine, I do a lash and a lip and a brow and I'm mm -hmm. done. You know, like I'll put these lashes on. I'll do, I love, I love, love, love lip bar. Um, So I, I love Hot Mess by the lip bar. <laughs> I love a bright lip. Um, and I also love um, Cami, which is another black owned Cami Cosmetics. She's oh, great. Oh, nice. Um, I really love, I love matte. So anything matte, I'm drawn to. So the lip bar, these ones are matte. And then Cami Cosmetics, this one is matte. And mm -hmm. also my- And also black owned, let's let's be clear about that. Right. The, um, right. lashes, black owned. Lip bar, black owned. Right. Hey, NFL. hey Burns, hey Q and yeah. Nina. Um, so yes, I love those. And then, um, I have one more, the one that I love, I, I don't have it. I don't see it in my bag here, but, um, it is the red from, um, Stila Cosmetics. Beso? It's called Beso. Like that. Yeah. Is, like, I put it on and then I put other lipsticks on top of it because it's such a good, like red foundation. It has a lot mm -hmm. of blue in it and I really like that. Yeah. Beso is my favorite. Yeah, so, um, I do that a lot, and then um, I have um, Clint. This is my staple. Like this is, I'm not going anywhere without this. Oh, and what's that? I don't make it anymore. So of course, I bought like seven of them. 
This is um, Perfectly Real Compact Makeup from Clinique. It's shade 146. They no longer make it. Oh, and I, hate when, I hate when people do that. I literally have like 10 of these and they all probably have been used. <laughs> I have some <laughs> box still, um, but I love this. It's almost like a powder foundation, but and I really love it. That's they don't they don't make it anymore. So that's that. So look, <laughs> look, I have three right here in my bag. <laughs> Um, cause I really, really love it, but yeah, um, too much as far as the makeup is concerned, even though, like I said, I worked for a lot of cosmetic companies back in the day. Um, but I make routines pretty simple. Yeah. I mean, well now we're, you know, indoors yeah. most of the time. So you really don't have to make yourself up. And if I'm not on camera, if I'm not doing this or doing a tutorial or something, me on my own time. I'm just nothing. Bare yeah. face with some gloss mm -hmm. or like a chapstick or something like that. Yeah, it takes me a long time to do my minimalist makeup, but I'm just like once I get in the mirror and I start doing my makeup, it's downhill from there. Mm hmm. You know, because I keep adding on and adding on. And not, not that it comes out to be a lot of makeup, but, you know, like I don't do my eyes. I don't mm -hmm. I don't do my eyes at all. Just like I just do my um, lash. The lash is the most important thing to me because I think it's the one thing you could do to kind of take your look all the way up without doing a lot. So, right. I agree. Like if you just did your brows and your lashes you can just run out the house with a little you know gloss on or a red lip and you're pulled together yeah for sure i always do my um lashes in the in the bathroom so this is a challenge right here <laughs> um but i'm gonna make it work i know you will um, and yeah, this is like dollar store situation for my brows. What I really do love for my brows though, I'm running out, I'm running really low. It's, um, it's, uh, uh, what is it? Makeup Forever has this brow like thing. It looks like a little bit of the toothpaste. I Whoa. love it, love it, love it. And I use the brush. Hold on. Let me... I use the brush to... Um, the brush from MAC to do, use my eyebrow, use it on my eyebrows. I think I saw something that I use as an alternative, but the one I really love is from Makeup Forever. And I think they discontinue that. It's something similar to this NYX. It's like a brow gel. Oh. Um, Forever has this. And I use the brush, the um, this brush to shape my eyebrow. Um, Sorry, this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, hold on, like that. Uh, mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, it's got a nice angle to it. Yeah. Then I, you could like, you could shape it. So what I do is I actually shape it into that, and mm -hmm. I use it to. Um. Oh, I'm missing the camera. Yeah. So I use it to shape my eyebrow with the gel, and the nice. gel is like toothpaste. So um, the one this is the fake one from not I'll just say fake, but this mm -hmm. is the one. NYX that I is similar, but it's a little bit too dark. Okay. Um, so it looks kind of like a jet, like a toothpaste kind of consistency. Oh. And so I love this for my brows. Like I don't go anywhere without doing my brows with this. Um, okay. Yeah, this is my jam, my jam, my jam. So this is, it looks like a. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. Like, almost like a. So it's like a like a gelish toothpaste. I, I liken it to toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Cause that's that's the thing that I think it's most like. It's most like toothpaste. Mm -hmm. It does, it does not, it does not go away with um sweat. Um, you know, with your 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 face is oily, it doesn't move. Um, so I love it. I will go over it with a pencil, this pencil kind of thing, but I have to start with this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, back to football. Halftime is over. <laughs> Thanks, DLD. I'll see you later. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much my makeup routine. Okay. Um, 
Now, where can you get that NYX product? Because I, I, I want to try that. Yeah, like so, you know, I get it in the um, I get it in the uh, um, what is it like the hair supply store? Oh, okay. I actually went to King's Plaza yesterday, and the the NYX store they had in there closed down, but they also have um, NYX stores all over. So if you, I I recommend the one from Makeup Forever. Mm -hmm. That's the one that I really like, but I haven't been able to find it in the store. Okay. I don't know why. So I found mm -hmm. this one, which is a little bit compass, just a little bit too dark. Okay. Um, so this one is black. And the one that I have from Makeup Forever is is brown. So okay. I like that one better. So I kind of go lightly with this mm -hmm. just as the foundation. And then I use this brush. I'll show you. And then I like brush it out with this and, you know, a little bit of pencil. Okay. And that's it, pretty much. If my brows and my lashes are done, we're good. <laughs> we're good. I hear you. So I did a thing. Mm -hmm. I had a birthday recently, and I thank birthday. you. And I decided I was going to take a little bit of my birthday money and treat myself to a nice foundation. Okay. Well, I got this one from La Mer. Oh, okay. Okay. But uh, it's called chestnut. And I'm usually some kind of nut. So I'm usually like a hazelnut, a chestnut, something like that. So I got this, but when I pumped it out, and first of all, it's very liquidy. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Mm -hmm. Then if you see the color, yeah, that's not going to work. Right. So what do, you, what do you do to fix that? So what I did was, yeah, see, it's too dark. So I'm going to have to take this back. Okay. And get um, another color. Okay. But that's, that's the thing that you run into. Hey, Q and Nini. Okay. No problem. Thank you for coming. Um, that's the problem that you run into when you are doing makeup at home, you know what I mean? And you're color matching at home. You're trying to, you know, get everything that you normally would go to the store and like try on. Yeah. Now you have to do everything virtually. Right. So, you know what? I never take foundations back, even if they don't match what I do. Uh -huh. I mix colors. So right now I'm doing a mix of um, Giorgio Armani, which I love their foundation. Oh, okay. I love, love their foundation. They also had a foundation that they no longer make anymore, which makes me sick to my stomach. Mm. It was so good. So Giorgio Armani and Fenty are my go-to go foundations. But even if I get the wrong color, I try to... Um, color correct it with like my own like i think i'm a scientist so i'll like try to blend it and make a new color for myself from the ones mm -hmm. that I have um so that's what i end up doing a lot of the time okay my my concealer what i love to use is kevin aqua is is oh uh oh she'll be back in a second i think she knocked herself off so what I'm doing while we're waiting for Michelle to come back is this one is Syrah and this I love because it's so lightweight. It really feels like you have nothing on. So for those days, I want to just feel like I want a hint of color on my face, but I don't want a whole lot of makeup on. I'll do this Syrah do drop. There she is. Yeah, I was like, what happened? Um, <laughs> gave me time to run and get this too. Um, so this was the foundation from Giorgio Armani that I absolutely, I'm like sick oh. that they no longer make it. And I have called everywhere trying to find this and I can't, but you know, it, it was their liquid summer. Mm -hmm. um, so it gave you a nice bronzy look. Yeah. Um, and then for my, my concealer, I love this from Kevin Aquan. Again, another type of toothpaste looking type thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so what I do is I use this, you know, what 
you know how uh when you warm it up on your hands and then yes. apply it, kind of give it you know you warm it up and then i just do under my eyes like that mm -hmm. really and that's it that's yeah. all to do over here not too much not too much well that's what i was saying when um you are off is what i'm using right now is Syrah. Now this one, I did a great color match on. This is number 14. It's called um, the Dew Drop Foundation. It's very light. It feels like you have nothing on your skin. And who's that by? Syrah Beauty. Oh, never heard of them. Mm -hmm. They make beautiful um, brushes. So they're known for their brushes, but this foundation, I think it was the best thing, one of the best things that I bought all summer. Okay. And like I said, I use this on days where, you know, I just want to look a little put together. Yeah. But I don't want to be, you know, beat to the gods. I don't want to look like, you know, I've got a whole bunch of makeup on my face. Mm -hmm. I will throw that on because it's so light. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just take um, this, this is the gel that I was showing you and kind of like just press my um, my brush into it mm -hmm. and like make sure I have the edges brushed into that paint. And then I just mm -hmm. go ahead and paint my eyebrow on. Ah. So like, I'm just like going over my own eyebrow, kind of filling mm -hmm. it with this as I use it. It's almost like a pencil because it's so sharp. Like, you know, the edges are sharp. Mm -hmm. So it, instead of, um, doing it with a pencil. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Oh, bless you. You're actually doing it with a brush. Um, so yeah, I I love this. Like I I my makeup routine is not complete without this. Nice. So this is my must-have in my bag. Mm-hmm. Love it. it. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you can, share us out. Please do. Yeah. So what I like about the brush is I feel like I have more control mm -hmm. uh, with the brush for my eyebrows. Yeah, I love those angled brushes. Yeah, I just it gives me it gives me more control to shape. Um, so I love that. So yeah, we're done with the eyebrows. That's all we needed. And I'm just going to do a light coat of foundation, put a lip on and, and some powder and I'm done. Mm -hmm. How long does it usually take you to do your makeup routine? Um, well, if it's like all out glam and I'm not filming, usually 20 minutes. Okay. So you have um, a light look and then a more in-depth look. Yeah. If it's an in-depth in depth look probably another 10 so like 30 minutes all in oh you're a professional it takes me like an hour to do it if not in depth look. <laughs> no 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 okay so my new obsession and i just did a video on this yesterday are these new veil blushes by wayne goss so this one is um, Bright Poppy. Mm. And then I got this one, which is Vivid Azalea. Oh, those are, co are beautiful colors. Yeah. I mean, I was so pleasantly surprised that these were so good. So I'm going to use the Poppy one today. Mm -hmm. Just because, you know, we're being just minimalist today. And now it's fall, so it's time to bring out the darker lip colors, which I'm loving. Exactly. Fall is my favorite time of year. Not only because, you know, it's my birthday time, but also because the makeup is great. The fashion is great. So... I love, what I love to do as well is I love to um, start with the lip color and then build on top of it. Mm -hmm. so wear just one lip color. I'm always like 
you know, especially based on my outfit. Like I started with this one, mm -hmm. um, this from Candy Cosmetics, and uh -huh. then I, I built this into it. Oh, nice. So this is the look that I'm, I'm rocking for today. Um, but yeah, like, especially like to go out, like probably now that my face is done, I'll probably venture out and go get something to eat. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah. That's, it. that's my look. There you go. Well, I'm almost done too. Cause I said, if you're going to do a minimalist look, I was going to do one as well. Okay. So when I do mine, I like to finish off with powder. Yes. So let me get, mm, mm. I'm gonna get my Charlotte Tilbury press powder. This is her airbrush flawless finish in number three. And I'm gonna use my new Sonia G buffer to buff that in and it just gives a like full completed kind of look to the face hey buddha i love that i know my light over here is not the greatest but this is my look there you go and i'm gonna throw on some fenty beauty this is yeah Prince this one a nice little finish to everything oh man i have this one um Ooh. and this is the trophy wife oh no how did it break did you drop it i dropped it um, but I don't travel with it anymore, so I just leave it in the thing. But like mm -hmm. that is like good for like this area right here. Uh huh. Um, and I'll do it sometimes, but this one is very like, um, I forget the word. I I, I was talking to Kamara about it. It doesn't necessarily like. It's a lot. This is not for daytime, really. No. Um. This is for nighttime, really, look. But, you know, and then you just give yourself, and I have this highlight brush that I always will keep forever. Mm -hmm. And so I'm supposed to make this like three motion here, one, two, and then three. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's it for me in my house with my makeup. Yep, and I'm done as well, just, yeah, I see you looking good. Thank you, thank you. I like that lip color that you have. Thank you. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Lashes. Yeah. Oh, and the lash is about. Listen, without a lash, I'm like, all the parties are over without the lashes. We got to get the lash done first. So this one is. The mascara that I've been like fiending for. Mm -hmm. This is Pat McGrath, her newest mascara, Dark Star. Mm -hmm. I love this lash. I don't have anything Pat McGrath. I need to add something from her line into my um into my my repertoire. Yeah, like, I haven't bought makeup in years honestly i think i haven't bought like real makeup i think the last thing i bought was this uh, fenty uh thing when it first came out mm -hmm. I haven't had too much more um since then i still have some products that i haven't even touched i do really love this combo that she has and i like i said i bought this years ago this was sorry it's dirty but it's the combo the highlighter and oh, the yes I really love do like that. Mm -hmm. um, that is something that I do really, really love from her. I think that that was one of her better uh, products that she came out with. It was like the, the and, and, and it's magnetic. So I like that it, mm -hmm. you can keep them together in that way. That was a smart, smart thing, girl. Smart thing to do, yes. Um, yeah. Brilliant in that. Yeah, that was smart in her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So any other questions from the chat? Well, we have Michelle on with her beautiful look and her lipstick. I love it. 
So I actually have a question while we're waiting for other people to do a uh, thing. So what is your favorite brunch meal? Um, so my favorite brunch meal, um, my friends tease me because whenever there's chicken and waffles on the menu, I'm definitely ordering that. I think um, it's a great way to get in your sweet and savory at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like what's brunch without a sweet dish? Like, come exactly. on. But I always like even with that, I'll still end up ordering. So what I try to do is try to get something sweet and something savory. So while the chicken and waffles does, you know, satisfy that, if I'm not getting chicken and waffles, I'm definitely getting like a French toast and then I'll do like maybe like um, an omelet mm -hmm. or something of that. So I'm I'm definitely ordering all always ordering two entrees for sure. I love that. Oh, yeah. waffles, I can eat every day if I could. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's so perfect. It's so perfect. And I just love to taste, you know, that little sweet edge and then the salty chicken. I just, mm -hmm. I love that. That really, that really makes my day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Guys in the chat, throw out your favorite dish for brunch. We want to hear from you. Um, and my favorite go-to drink is a um, peach mimosa. Oh, yes. Mm. There's a lot of favorite drinks I have, but yes, um, Bellini's, mimosas, yes, all mm -hmm. of them. So good. Yeah. Oh, I love the Bellinis too. Um, there was a place here in um, New Haven that served a um, peach Bellini. Okay. Like a splash of, um, what is that? Uh, drink. Uh, St. Germain? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes St. Germain's makes every cocktail 100% better. Yes. Um, Oh my gosh. And I learned that from your line sister, actually, <laughs> Jessica. Oh, Jessica? Yes. Of that. Yeah, you like, gotta put St. Germain in all your, your mimosas. It's a must. You have to. Oh. But you gotta be careful good. because then it starts tasting too good and you're like sending that you up text at 2 <laughs> 30 in there. <laughs> What's up? What you doing? What you doing? Where, 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 are you busy? Uh-huh. Come, come on in. Come on. Right. right. So, yeah, you got to be careful with that because it does make the drink. It does take it up a notch. Yes, yes. Oh, Buddha says she was making a bagel for now. She eats salmon, asparagus, and rice. That's her favorite dish. Salmon, asparagus, baked potato. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, she likes omelet with red and green peppers. Ooh. Yeah. Good. Someone I know was um, supposed to make an omelet yesterday with um, red and green peppers and oh, onion yeah. and cheese. I'm like, crunch up some bacon in there. <laughs> My new thing this summer was the lobster mac and cheese. It's so good. Like I had that at STK two, twice. It was really, really good. Um, you know, I've just been able to take, like I, even with COVID, I've still been able to hang out and like get some good brunches in. And so like super happy mm -hmm. about that. Um, yeah. while, you know, while, while it's about food too, it's like I said, it's about catching up with people. So it's good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Where's your go-to spot? Um, this summer I went to, a lot of spots, but this summer I went to STK twice. So I would say that was my, my go-to um, okay. this summer. Um, here in Brooklyn, what's my go-to? My go-to used to be um, this spot. Uh, um, what was my go-to here in Brooklyn that I would always go to? Well, one was Mango Seed. It's on Flatbush mm. Avenue. I've been okay. there a couple of times, but I haven't been recently. Um, Cause I've been trying to try different places, but that was my spot that if you were like, Oh, you want to go to brunch and I know it's going to be good. And I know it's going to be, you know, whatever I'd say mango seed. Um, I'm trying to think where else am I like, Oh, let's go all the time. Can't remember. No, not right now. <laughs> so many places clogging my brain, but yeah, mango seed was one of my favorites and I can't wait till they open up again. Cause they've been closed. 
Oh, oh um, somebody asked, do you use Cody to watch movies in the theater? Cody, what's that? I don't know. What's Cody, Buddha? Cody. Cody, does she use Cody to watch movies in theater? I recommend seeing Dare to Dream. Cody? I don't know what Cody is. Sounds like an app. Maybe. Maybe do I use it now that I'm I haven't been in the movie theater? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not honestly, I'm not a big movie watcher. Like I don't watch movies at home. I don't. Um, my TV stays on one channel all the time. And if I'm not watching that, I'm usually watching girlfriends reruns or soul mm -hmm. reruns. But my TV stays on one channel. I don't watch movies. I don't even have cable. I just mm -hmm. have the TV with the antenna. Um so I'm not a movie person. That's why going to the movies is an experience for me because I get to actually physically go to the movie and sit mm -hmm. in the movie, um, which I do like to do. Not often either, um, but I like being able to get out and like zone into and not have anything bother you and you just focus on that. Mm -hmm. um, I may be one of the rare people who still <laughs> like going to the movies because mm -hmm. I... And I like to go when it's not like I would never go on a Saturday night or a Friday night. Mm -hmm. I like to go on like a Tuesday afternoon at like twelve o'clock in the afternoon, like yeah. that. Thing. Plus, you get it half price. I right. don't know. You get it half yeah. price. And trust me, you know, on the low, nobody's stopping me when I'm walking from movie theater to movie theater on a Tuesday. No one's checking. <laughs> no one's checking. So you know, just I have it. it. I have made I have made I may have added to the demise of the movie theater because I was in there watching two three movies and only paying for one so you know um, yeah, even when I go sometimes he'll be like just go ahead you know like whatever mm -hmm. I love that I love that yeah getting good with the staff that lets you do it yeah, yeah he was so like right at yes I um I go to the one at Sheep's Head Bay because that's really close to my house so like. I'll go in there and the kids be like, we didn't see you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Works for me. Right. Works for me. Oh, she's talking about an Amazon Fire Stick. Yeah, no, I don't have, yeah, I don't have any of that. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have a Fire Stick. I have um, the, um, what you call that? The um, Chromecast. I have that. Mm -hmm. But the fire stick, like in my beauty room where I am now, I have a fire stick on my TV and that's where I watch everything at. Yeah, I don't, um, like I said, like I don't even have cable, so I couldn't have a fire stick. <laughs> I mean, I don't have internet either, so I couldn't have a, a fire stick either. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, we, I have internet, but I don't have like typical cable. I just use um, the app, was the AT&T app? Yeah. I'm using Optimum. I'm using somebody's Optimum password that they gave me a long time ago. That's what I'm using. That's what I'm using my internet service, but you know, like I don't, I'm not home a lot. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, I'm not going to have all of that stuff to be home like twice a week. Exactly. Yeah. You only need internet, Buddha. You don't need anything else. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Everything else you can make away. Trust me. Trust me. And I do, because I've been living in this apartment for four years without internet and cable. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. um, oh, a uh, question was, how old were you when you became an owner? An owner? For your brunch lisa. Oh, um, in my, I was like, in my late, in my, like heading into my 40s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You said she I, must work a lot. <laughs> I yeah. do. I do work a lot. Um, and I get up in the morning and I go, you know, I've been trying to be a little bit more intentional because I noticed how it sets the tone to my day. But usually like before this week, um, you know, I would go in and out, but like I would just get up and start working, you know, get up, pick up my phone, start answering emails, mm -hmm. you know, posts, doing social media posts. So now I'm trying to, the first thing that I do is when I wake up in the morning, if you can see it right behind me, um, I have like this Jesus calling and my Bible right behind me. And so mm -hmm. what I try to do, and I have the app, so I try to at least do two, like have a worship for at least an hour mm -hmm. and start my day. And I mean, it definitely has been adding 
much more calm, much more centering that I need um, to do my day and get through the task. So I'm hoping that I will become more consistent in doing that. Um, but yeah, like before I get up, just pick up my phone and just start. And it's just not a good way to start your day. So I'm mm-hmm. trying, as we all do, try to, you know, be a little bit more intentional about how you start your morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. They love that. Um, Buddha says, wow, I get up at 3.30 a.m. to meditate and give thanks for waking up. And now I fully understand. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You got to take time out to just center yourself and get your, yeah. your mind right. You so the rest to. of your day can just flow. Yeah, you have to. And also at night, too. Like, you don't want it, the last thing to be like a email or whatever like you want to also like you know do the same thing at night i'm not there yet but i hopefully i will get there because it's yeah yeah i think i'm i'm trying to be more intentional like that as well and like you know say at least i accomplished this today or you know i feel like you know this went well it's something to be grateful for the day and try to end my day like that. Like I'm grateful that you know this happened today. Cause you know, if you wake up like that and you go straight, you just it's just a, not a good way to start the day. It's really mm-hmm. just not. And um yeah, hopefully practice makes perfect for me over here, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Makes perfect. Yeah. Uh Buddha says she understands because if she misses meditating, things feel off track for her. I, I mean, yes. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So if we were not in row, if row was not a factor, what would you be doing right now? What's row? Right? Corona. <laughs> oh, row, 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 row. Miss Row. <laughs> um, I, I like, like I said, my life hasn't really like, like I still go out to brunch. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, it's a lot different now because you got to make a reservation. You can't roll up. I actually mm-hmm. haven't been out since we have been. I have I actually have not been to brunch since they've implemented the way um, the 25 percent capacity inside. Mm-hmm. I haven't been to brunch since that. OK, um, so I'm interested to see how that because I was only doing rooftops. So mm-hmm. I was going to brunch and I was still hanging out. Um, and I was only doing one where I probably, you know, not at Corona, I would have done maybe two brunches a day. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I would be a brunch. I would be a brunch on a Sunday okay. at three o'clock. Yeah, I'd be out and about. Okay, okay. Well, we gotta talk about that because I did say next year, if we're still in Road Town. I want to do a rooftop brunch to celebrate my four years of being Brown Girl Bella. Yes. Of course, you know, I got to bring my brunch Nista in. Of course, of course. I I told you, I hit all the rooftops this summer. (laughs) Like, I hit all of them. I was like, oh, we could only do rooftop. I mean, I I, like, we could only do outdoor dining. I was like, cool. I literally did research and found like all the restaurants that had great rooftop dining and great food. Mm -hmm. And I hit them up. Um, I prefer that than the sidewalk. So I was mm-hmm. really intentional. Like I'm like I don't necessarily care to be eating outside on the sidewalk, but I'll definitely do a rooftop. So Zona de Cuba was really good. Oh and yeah, I love that place. Was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I I went to a couple spots in Atlanta where they actually you could actually sit inside. Mm-hmm. They were good. Um, what other rooftop did I go to? I went to Haven. That was decent. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to a uh, 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 Cantina rooftop, which I was like, eh, not so mm-hmm. great. Um, yeah, so yeah, I hit them all up. Hit them all up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about Cantina not being so good because that was on my list. No, you get a cute picture, but and a good drink, but. <laughs> No. That's the other thing. Hit up her um her Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description box when we're done. Beautiful pictures. Beautiful pictures. Thank you. Yes. You know, oh, it's it's her life good. hasn't changed either, but um her mom is tripping about me going to Orlando to see my homie. It's her daughter's birthday, the eighth, and her dad is the ninth. Okay. 
it's but I think Miami is open, open. So, girl, like uh, two places. I haven't been to Florida since you know Rona, but I've been to Atlanta, and they are both open. I mean, normal. Yeah, the the, the serving staff are wearing masks. Mm -hmm. Everyone's socially distant. Um, I actually have um, some products coming out, which is going to be your own portable, uh, your own straw, dis not disposable, recyclable straw mm -hmm. with um, the fork and the knife and the spoon and the chopsticks. Okay. So you'll be able to take that with you and use it at brunch if you don't feel comfortable because a lot of people don't feel comfortable. Um, mm -hmm. Little things that I feel like will help you get back to the new normal. Yeah. And having your own straw because the paper straws they're giving out right now, they ain't working. No, no. They're not working. So that's a whole new thing. So I, you know, I have one that has two straws. It has a chopstick, mm -hmm. it has a fork, it has a knife. And I'll have those on my site along in the kit with like a bag to put your shoes and like a mask for your face so that mm -hmm. you can still go out brunch in style and enjoy yourself during this new normal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, look out for that because that's going to be great. That's a great idea. Um, I have a portable set as well. So that is going to be really, really popular, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Buddha says, my mom is a nurse and doesn't want her traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the airfares right now are very cheap, too, because not a lot of people are flying. Um, a lot of people are still flying, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, well, not as many, but like people, mm -hmm. people are still going places a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Mexico is a huge destination right now. Aruba is a huge destination right now. Florida, huge destinations for people to go. Um, so yeah, people are still traveling. I mean, there's not many places to go, but Mexico, Aruba, and Florida are like high on that list. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I have a friend who's um, supposed to be going to Jamaica in November. I was like, I want to go. Yeah, I think my cousin's actually going to Jamaica next week for a wedding. So yeah, mm -hmm. we're still traveling. It's obviously not at the grand scale that we were traveling prior to Rona, but like mm -hmm. people are still out there for sure. Yeah. Thank you, Burns. Love and light to you as well. Thank you so much for your support. Um, Buddha says, yeah, because flights are supposedly cheap. I don't know. I haven't really checked into it. They are. They are? They are. Okay. Why people are going. Because it's like, you know, like families are going to Disney World right now. Because when else would they able to get like fares for like $100 for the whole, like, you know, $100 mm -hmm. flight. So I can't fault, you know, I don't blame them. Like, if this is the time right. to take your kid to Disney World, your whole family, and you weren't able to do that before, like, go for mm -hmm. it. You know, just practice, you know, have, there's everything in place for you to be careful. So just, you know, use those protocols. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like um, New York and Italy came to where Buddha is. Okay. Yeah. I mean, listen. I love it. You can't, you can't be, you know, scared about every single thing life happens as long as you take care of yourself and you know do the right thing and practice the correct protocol yeah you should be fine you should be fine hands wear your mask um use sanitizer if you know there's no uh bathrooms available stay six feet apart from people if you have a sick or you feel sick don't go um i mean it's just very simple so like i don't think you know, we should put our lives on hold, but, you know, mm -hmm. just go ahead and, you know, implement those new safety precautions so that you could, and the things that are here now, I think we're going to have them at least for next year as well. I don't see us getting rid of masks next, next year. Yeah. I don't see us getting rid of the hand sanitizer stations next year. I don't yeah. see us not following six feet next year. Mm -hmm. um, so just get used to it and just try to get, get out and like navigate, you know, how you're going to, you know, adjust to this new, 
way of living. And I think the faster you do it is the better for you, right? So like if you mm -hmm. wait a whole nother eight months, you know, as the changes evolve, you'll miss all of those. So when you go out, you'll be like in total shock. But if you mm -hmm. consistently kind of like go out, kind of, you know, test it a little bit, you know, if you're not comfortable, make adjustments, mm -hmm. like don't like not do it at all. Cause then you're going to be total shock when you come out next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's interesting, Buddha. She says she used to remodel houses with her friend on the beach and many New Yorkers, Italians and Canada's, they're there on the beach and own units in a condo. They're called snowbirds. <laughs> and uh, she says Disney is free until the 24th of December. Wow. So all you got to do is make your way down there. Wow. That's really interesting. Well, I tell you, it's been great. I love this chit chat. Yeah, um, thank you so much. She was like, "Are you free today?" And I was like, yeah. so can "Move things around so we can talk." Because I knew that I'm, I'm like, like I decided this weekend I wasn't going to be going out or doing anything. Usually, mm -hmm. I'm out in the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm like, I knew this weekend I was definitely sitting down. And so I'm like, next weekend, I don't know. I may feel inspired to go out. I don't know. Mm -hmm. but I knew today I was going to be home. So I was like, can you do it today? Because I'm home. I know I'm home. I've been sitting home all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Well, thank, thank you for having me. Guys for congratulations to you and everything that you're doing. And it's so good to see you've been consistent. Like I talked about earlier, you have definitely been consistent in growing and building your brand. So congratulations to you. And, you know, like I can't wait till you get trademarked so we can celebrate that. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So how I usually end, guys, is you have been bellified. So take care, everyone. I will see you back here soon on Tuesdays. I'm going to do my Watch Hour Tuesday. So get ready for that. And until then, I'll see you soon. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, everyone in the chat. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. And I will see you again soon. Have the great, have a great rest of your day.